just when I thought the Bell and Ryu ship couldn't, you know, go any further. My god, the skin to skin contact. And at the end, yo, when she was saying, if I could die right now, I don't think she actually said this, but paraphrasing, she was just so happy at the last moments that she could be with Bell and that, and that this despair and this death felt so sweet. So good. But hold up. Hold up. Did you guys forget about Ice? Because I definitely forgot about Ice. Where is she? Would she care? I don't think she would care as much as Hestia. Maybe Ice would get a little jealous. Anyways, I think we left out a cliffhanger where Bell's about to fight the Juggernaut. Will it be a one on one or will our team and everybody else come and save us at the very end? We'll see. Let's find out. <laughs> Can we just spam Firebolt from inside? Because like, he can't come in, right? So every time he tries to like peek in, we attack. That'd be pretty cheap, but hey, whatever. Whatever wins, right? Oh shit, he's showing up. I believe you, but 1v1? 1v1 in this injured state? This is gonna be good. Wait, this is the uh the scene that Ryu had where rest of her familia was like beyond the water and they left. Don't leave me! But we got over that. Bell said they would get upset. No no no, relax. Hey, don't cross the water! She's not gonna die. No way. No way. That'd be crazy if she dies though. Your dreams are not to pass away with the rest of your family. That's not how they would want you. There you go. Walk back. Get your ass back there. Yeah. Kaguya, say something. Call her a stupid hell. Oh, everybody's turned around except Kaguya. Did you see that? Maybe she's going to say something really cool at the end. And that's what's important. Hope. Her justice is hope. I'd, uh, we're just at a very semantic level argument here, but hey, you do you. There you go. Kaguya finally turned around. She thought to assume today, man. Get out of here. Everybody was like, you can do it, Ryu. I believe in you. Kaguya's like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. You got monsters to slay. Hey, you didn't leave them behind. But I guess she did freeze up and everybody did die in the process and she probably feels so guilty. Doesn't help that she casted a spell to kill the Juggernaut, but Alize was also there. All part of the plan, but the fact that Alize also got caught up in the magic and died, that is so cruel. To go back to Bell. Come on. Yes! He's out there fighting for his life. Come on! Oh, back to the tavern. Yeah, and that's going to be such a nice moment when we finally get out of this despair, get back, and then, you know, oh. Bye-bye. I think they mentioned that the Juggernaut got slower because of the injuries, but also in the while turning into this like new form by absorbing all the monsters, it got new skills, right? So the speed was a big deterrent last time that we fought. It was so hard to keep up, but now it's a little bit different, albeit they got the different magic spells too now. But Bell has been leveling up. Well, not leveling up, like rising to his like potential of his level cap. Because they mentioned Bell's been leveling so fast, he actually didn't know how to actually scale up to the, you know, the cap of his level. I think he's a lot stronger now, hopefully. Yeah, it's 2v1 now, let's go! Maybe we don't need the reinforcement to come save us then. We might actually, you know, 2v1 this. Oh shit, let's go real. We need an Argo Vesta to finish this guy off. Can we still use one? Wait, what's this magic? Oh god, she's casting again. Anytime she starts enchant, you know, doing the enchant incantations, she's gonna pop off. We're perfectly in sync. Oh, Argo Vesta! Holy shit, that was fast! I think this is Argo Vesta. He didn't. Ah! Yeah, that's so OP. The range is. And it comes out so fast, too. Oh, shit. Here we go, Argo Vesta already. To the ground. Boom. Holy shit. We can do the AoE underground attack, too, I guess. I, I think it works because you know how the Juggernaut also had needles popping up. You know, there's a bunch of pathways. So if he just shoots it down there, too, then it's going to use it. Is she going to get the killing blow, then? It would be fitting, right? To get revenge for her familia? Oh! Remember season one against the Minotaur? We did like an internal fireball? That kind of looked like that too. The one thing that sucks about the spell, even though it's so powerful, 
It's the fact that it takes 10 minutes to do the incantation, but here we go. It's working. It's working. You crack the shell. It's not dodging anything either. Huh? Wait. Wait, what? Hold up. We got more though. Yeah, God, they baited us for I'm, I got baited, man. I was like, are you serious? Did we actually miss our one last chance? What? Oh, shit. I bet Kabe's gonna get called at the very end. Maybe that'll be Arise. Huh. I never thought about it, but all these little green balls, they do represent her familia one, but that's why there's so many of them. This is such a nice way. Like a way, like a, what's, what's the word? Closure for her to overcome her trauma with her familia, with this magic like that. I wonder if it's actually doing anything. Okay, it is. <laughs> Still hyping herself up. You know, they're not actually there, but it's like... It's cool. Shh. Maybe Arise will be the last one. Go. There she is. Oh, they're holding hands. I kind of wanted, you know, Belle and Ryu to be holding hands and finish it together, but this is nice too. Yo, this is looking like a raw thing gun! That's the episode title! Yo! Ryu's been watching Naruto Shippuden, huh? Although, I guess the base original Naruto also had Sharing. I mean, sorry, the Rasengan, but... Holy shit, she actually did a Rasengan to finish it! That's actually so cool. Can we go home? So what if this is another bait and the dungeon's gonna be like, oh shit, our, you know, last chance immune system juggernaut is dead. Therefore, we need to send another stronger being. Wouldn't that be insane? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Do you hear that though? What is that sound? Man, Weenie's gonna see Ryu and Belle together. I don't think Weenie actually has any romantic interest for Belle. It's more like, you know... I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, Belle was just very protective of Weena, and she just really appreciated that. I don't think, like, Weena sees him like that, but it's like, if this was, like, Hestia, it's like, what the fuck? What are you doing with Ryu? Don't worry, Weena. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Marie's blood? Oh, she put... Clutch. So clutch, dude. Marie's mermaid blood can heal everything, right? Way better than the moldy potion Ryu made us drink. <gasps> Weena! What a crazy surprise for Belle. And bye. <laughs> oh, Lily. Everybody's finally here. Oh my god, the, the cat puns. Here we go. Are they gonna get separated already? No. No time to... Bruh. They're really keeping Belle and Winnie so separate. It was nice that they got to see each other just for a bit, but I wanted a little bit more. That sucks. <laughs> they look dead. <laughs> no, no, they're they're alive, but if you just saw them just lying on the ground like that. Are we back on the surface? Ryu. It's here. <gasps> We're back. We're back. Oh. I can actually her little cat nap. <laughs> Possible. Oh my god. I love the cat girls. No, she's gonna start running down the hall. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. She's not wearing anything, is she? Wait, what's she wearing? <laughs> wait, what is this? Hold up. Wait, here's some fan service. Now, why not? They're not showing her bottom for some reason. What, what is she wearing? Probably just the top. As soon as she goes in there, she's gonna be like, Belle, are you okay? And then everybody's gonna see Ryu's bottom and be like, huh? Wait for it. Let her cook. Let her cook. Here it comes. What are you wearing down there? Or rather, what are you not wearing down there? Hmm? Oh, it's not too bad, but... <laughs> oh, come on. Classic Danmachi fan service. <laughs> you can't see... Really? You're gonna smack him? I thought they're trying to close his eyes or something. 
<laughs> his fault. Uh, they try to stop her. No, it's not her. Yeah, no kid. Holy shit. Yeah, like, he just came back from like a near death situation and you smack him up like that. Also, if you look at Hestia's outfit, it's pretty much what Ryu had on. Although it's a little bit more on, I guess. Boris! <laughs> Boris <laughs> lived the entire thing insane. But he's the witness, right? <laughs> the kill witch, she was the heroic. <laughs> Yeah, that's why Boris was alive to, you know, be the witness to tell everybody, you know, to set the truth straight about what Ryu actually is. He's thinking about the money. You know what? Get your bag. He survived it. So the Gale Wind is dead to the public. And now it's there for Defender of Justice. It's got a different title. Okay. I like the Champion of Justice, though. Oh, who's out? Oh, damn, Ryu. Oh, this outfit's nice. Are we really not going to see ice, though? At all? Interesting. Can we just keep continuing with the Bell and Ryu ship? Does Bell even remember who ice is? Oh. Huh. This outfit is kind of... Are you ready to go on a date? What is this? It's not what I expect from her, usually. No, it looks great. It's just... Damn. Oh, it's Sears. Okay, okay. No, it looks great. It looks great. A walk, you say? Shall we hold hands? Hmm? Hmm? A little bit more skin to skin contact? Bro, they're just out shopping like a couple. Doesn't this just seem like. like an actual couple? Okay, that. that... Oh, look at the way he tried to get close there. Did you see that little slow movement? But then Ryu kind of moved away, but... Now... Are they really going to push with this ship? Because usually in Damachi, whatever girl is the center of the arc, Belle gets a lot of the time and screen time. But afterwards, it kind of gets left behind. Will they continue pushing for these two? That would be insane. I really hope in Season 5 onwards, we get a little bit more, but maybe... Maybe it's coming to an end. I don't know. Yes. You got that justice. That sense of hope. The champion of justice. Can, can we get a kiss? Can we get a single kiss? Come on. Maybe not. You're worthy of way more respect. Now, can we continue with the ship, please, author? Please don't give up on them. But I'm so conflicted because I really like Ice too. But honestly, Ice... Feels like a distant character now. I don't really know much about her. Maybe they'll do more arc in the future when they get a lot closer. Oh, there is. But right now, what we experience with Ryu, it feels like the bond is so much stronger between these two than any other girl before, right? She can't look at him. Oh! Because I think she might be falling for him. Probably, right? So cute. She's so embarrassed. Oh, but like, don't let this just end like this. Come on. Look at the word. She's clutching her heart. Please continue with the ship. Follow your heart and your heart tells you to go to Bell Dummy. Go back or Ice is going to snatch him up. No, I mean, I like Ice too, but the season four with Ryu, man, it's just been so good. It's just been so good. Wait, is this the... Finale episode, actually? At least I said it. Wait, wait, I fucked up! No, I did I was supposed to put the suit on. I didn't realize this was a finale episode. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. This is the best season so far, though. Oh, my God, man. This season, in part, part one and part two, so much action, so much despair. We got back when One Piece, man. Ryu and Bell, that ship is so precious. But again, will the author continue to push for this? Or will there be another arc in the future where Ice and Bell bond even harder? It's gonna kinda, ugh. When, when that comes, I'll probably be all on board for Ice, but no, Ryu, don't let it end like this. I need to say at the end, right? Don't let that boy go, but we'll see what happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.